Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how easy it is to connect your AirBot account to your Google Sheets and then write information to a Postgres database. We'll be talking about how we'll use Wayscript's new table functionality to do this and I'll show you all the steps that you need to set this up for yourself. With all of that said, let's dive right in. So getting started, our first step will be to go to AirBite. If you're unfamiliar with AirBite, it's a great tool to move data from one place to the next. So in this example, we'll be looking at how we can connect to Google Sheets, pull data from that source, and then push it to a Postgres database. So getting started, you may already see that I have a Google Sheet connected. How this works, if this is your first time, we'll click on this new source, and then from here, you'll get a ton of different options. So for me, I will just choose Google Sheets. As you can see here, how this works is it is a OAuth process and you click on sign in with Google, then you choose your account and it automatically authenticates it for you. From there, what we'll need is the spreadsheet link. This is just the URL that your spreadsheet is at. So visit that spreadsheet and paste in the link for it here. Once you have all of that, you'll click on set up source. I'll omit this for now as I already have my Google Sheets set up. We will view its settings. So as you see, my Google Sheet doc link is this. So now that we have our source set up, we'll need to take a look at where we're sending this information or our destination. So how we'll do that is we will click this handy destinations button on the left. And as you see, I've already set this one up as well, but we'll go through and talk through how you would do all of this. So for your first time, you will need to click on new destination. Then we'll just type in the source or the destination that we want to send it to. In our case, we are sending this to a Postgres database. So we will select an option. At this point, if you've subscribed to the Wayscript tables feature within Wayscript, you'll just use the information that we send you and put it into these blanks. If you're using a different destination, then you would need to go and get all of these credentials manually, and there's a few more settings that you would have to take care of. In this video, I just want to focus on using the Wayscript table feature, so we'll be using information from that destination. Rather than typing all those credentials in, what I will do is I will go back to my destinations and show you the one that is already set up. So yours should look very similar to how this one looks. You see, I had to manually input the destination name, which is Postgres, the host, which will be provided to you, then the database name, the schema will be public by default, the user and the password will be provided to you as well. So you will just put those values into these blanks and then make sure that you select SSL mode to require. Finally, after you do all of that, you will click test and save, and then you should get a confirmation message that is set up and ready to be used. Finally, we'll take a look at our connections and we'll create our first connection. So our existing source will be Google Sheets. Then we'll select an existing destination, which is our Postgres account. So we will click on that now and we will get all the information from these and set up this connection between our destination and our source. Finally, there's a few more settings that you can play with here. I will just leave it all as the default for this tutorial, but for your use case, it may vary depending on what you want to do. So finally, we will click on set up connection down here at the bottom. And that should create our connection between our source of Google Sheets and our destination of our Postgres database hosted by Wayscript. If you would like one of these hosted databases by Wayscript, then just send us an email at teams at And we'll be happy to take care of all the extra steps and the settings to get this up and working for you. Now that we have AirBuy up and working, our last step will be to query information from our new Postgres database destination. And we'll do that all within Wayscript. The view I'm in here is inside of a workspace. And that means other members of my team can work in these applications. So what we'll do now is we will use this new layer button at the top, and then we will use a template for this demonstration. In our case, let's say that we want to make some type of automation using SQL. And how we can do that is by clicking this SQL cron task. We'll name this whatever we want. So we'll say something like error by automation SQL. Once inside of our layer, what we'll do is we will click on open develop and we will look at the code that we have supplied here. So the code that we have here is in this SQL cron and we'll need to put in our credentials here. So these will be the same credentials that we used in the previous step. So this will be the host, the user, the password we are putting into a .secrets file and I will show you how to do that. And then the database name. Once you put all those values in, what you'll need to do is to create this password secret. We'll do that by clicking on this new file .secrets. Then we will open the secrets tab from here. We will put in password 
and then we'll type in our password to our database. Skipping over typing these values in, you now see that I put in the same values as I did in the Airbyte section of this video, and they'll all go in here like this. All of these values, like I said before, will come from the waste script information that we will send you once you use our tables functionality. Now that we have all of this, what we can do is we can choose a SQL statement to execute. And you see here that I just have a simple statement, select all from a table, and we will execute that and print the result. So that's all it takes to begin reading information from your table using WaveScript. If you have any questions about any of this, please let us know and we'll be happy to help. If you want to use the WaveScript tables functionality, be sure to send us an email at teams at Until next time.